Hi guys, welcome to Simproof Fry Speaking here, and today we are going to build another nice house in The Sims 4. This is another collaboration with the absolutely amazing Fräulein Celine. She is a very dear YouTube friend and real life friend of mine. She has a YouTube channel as well, and she does amazing Sims 4 builds. And therefore, we always wanted to collab and do something really, really fun for a speed build collab. So this is the fifth. 50 challenge that I originally created with Simulexis and therefore you only have one half of a lot and you build something and then the other person has to complete the other half of it so that at the end you have a fully functional house or community lot or whatever it is and we decided to create a church that is renovated and turned into a restaurant because the sims 4 dine out pack is out where your sims can own their own restaurants and we just thought it would be perfect right now because we really wanted to test every object that we got from here and since windenburg from the get together pack is so european we thought that it would be really fitting to have maybe a church in there because yeah we are both from germany Fräulein is a german simmer as well and um, yeah we decided to do something like that because we both know that there are some restaurants really turned or a church turned into a restaurant this really exists I've been to a couple of places like them here in Germany and I'm pretty sure that all over Europe there are places like that I guess it's because maybe some churches are really not used by the Christian church in Germany and then they sell it and usually these get renovated into something else because you can't just bulldoze them because they're pretty old and there are some restrictions you can change a lot of them or a lot of the outer exterior for example and i've been here in cologne we have for example a little bar or nightclub i would say that is a church or has formerly been a church and it's really really cool it's an amazing interior design also and it's really cool the clash of modern interior design you know modern furniture and with the really old brick walls and very tall ceilings and all that stuff it's just marvelous and always looks so so nice so yeah this is what we wanted to create here too and we thought it would be really cool for the new experimental food that came with the new gameplay pack and we thought it would be really fitting, you know, a renovated church, like modern, modernized church with experimental food. That would be like the in place in Windenburg. Everybody has to go there because it's such, such a cool idea. So I started with a really old looking church. There's really not basically like a, I would say, style to it. So I really can't say if it's Roman or Gothic, but I guess it's more Gothic than Roman, for example, because most of the churches are from the Gothic era. and. And this is what I wanted to create. I mean, we don't have so many objects that are fitting, but I could, you know, change the purpose of some objects and just put them there and they looked kinda gothic, for example. So yeah, <laughs> I hope you like it. So I really wanted to have a glass ceiling and uh, this is why there is like some space left in the upper roof but this will get deleted like the flat roof that there is there and then there will be like a glass ceiling there so I thought that would be really really cool. And I've already seen Fräulein Celine's half because we decided that her half can be quite different because she has like the maybe it got bombed in the second world war for example which is well, it sounds hard, but it's like typical that a lot of churches also got, you know, bombed during the Second World War here in Germany. And then they get renovated like differently, like modernized. So we decided to maybe do something like that too. So the behind of the church <laughs> maybe got bombed or destroyed through war or whatever. And this is why the other half from Fräulein has more glass walls all over it. And yeah, lots of glass and steel and it's white and really clean looking. So my part is like the more older part. 
with modernized, very tall windows, for example, but it's basically still shaped like a church and it still looks like a church. And we just thought it would be a really, really cool idea to have like something which I think is really typical, for example, from Germany, because we have lots of really old buildings and then right next to it, you have a really tall glass steel modern building right next to it. And this is the clash that is pretty normal here in Europe, in Germany. And I'm pretty sure that everybody can relate to that who is like from Europe maybe. So this is uh, something really, really special for me. I thought it would be a really cool idea and I haven't been to one like this, but I know there are some like this in Germany. For example, I've already told you that I went to a bar, which is pretty known here in Cologne. And yeah, so I wanted to recreate something like it. And I'm really proud out of it, how it turned out. It looks really, really pretty, has lots of detail, even though I went pretty minimal with the interior design. So if you get into the church, you will have a really open space area. So it, it has two levels, there are two stairs coming up. And on the upper level, there is a bar and you can look down to the eating area or dining area from the restaurant. So if you want to have a working restaurant in The Sims 4, when you have the dine out pack, you still need a host station, a waiter station and a chef station. Otherwise it won't work as a restaurant. So my part only has the host station and some uh, and a little dining area. And for Lenceline, she is going to do, you know, the waiter station and the kitchen and so on. So this is going to look really, really pretty. And I've already seen the whole build as it is. Yeah, it looks really pretty. I'm really proud of it. And it, for me, it's like typical European, for example. I know that I have also a lot of American viewers and maybe you like more of the solely traditional parts, but I just have to tell you that there are also very modern influences here added to the very old buildings. And I think it looks so interesting like it. And yeah, it has a really special kind of character for me. This build is really, really amazing. And I love to visit it with my Sims, for example. So yeah, <laughs> I hope you will like it too, guys. Write me in the comments if you have something like that in your town or in your country, like a church or really, really really old building with modern structures in it or on the exterior, you know, renovated or something like this. Write in the comments. I would love to Google it and like look at some pictures. Maybe I do like a nice series of it or maybe I, you know, do a nice renovation of my whole Windenburg townhouses. So maybe this looks really, really awesome. I just think it has like a really nice vibe. When you come inside, there will be the host station and it is behind a waterfall, I guess. I also chose new logos that came with a pack. So this is basically two red signs that look like yeah, writing. And then I chose a white scribble thingy, brush thingy. <laughs> I really don't know how to explain it, but this should be the logo I just thought. And then behind it there, I deleted the floor. So your Sims have to go down a little bit on the little stairs. And there they can sit and have like a nice big booth where they can sit. So there are like four tables, two small ones and two large ones. And your Sims can really get there and yeah, eat there and dine. So this is like a really working restaurant. I'm really happy. Be aware, of course, you need the other half from Valencian to really be at a restaurant or that it is like a fully functional restaurant. I will put all the links you need to know in the video description. The whole theme of the build is more of a black industrial interior on my side. I just thought it fitted the outside more because I used lots of grays and blacks, you know, more darker toned down colors. And I also used some chandeliers that may have been in the old church, but then I also used these top notch, very minimal modern furniture. So. I have used lots of black steel, for example. So, so the stairs are out of black steel or metal and also are the fences from the gallery that is on the second floor. 
and then I used lots of very minimal looking darker furniture. I didn't over clutter it this time so much because I really wanted to give it like this modern look and vibe. And since the walls are so tall and have this amazing height, I just thought it looks really cool like this. If there's not too much added here. So I used lots of spa day furniture, for example, and I also used some bamboo plants as room dividers, maybe so your Sims can have a little bit of privacy. And <laughs> there you could see me putting in the little Dachshund, I guess you call it in English. We in German we call it just Dackel because Valencilin she has a real Dackel, like this kind of dog. Uh, her name is Tina and it's her little mascot too. So I wanted to give her that already on her side because she always implements them in her builds. This little statue that we have in the Sims 4 game. So I thought it would be really funny because I just found it in the build mode and I thought, oh, this is for, for Celine. So I already will put it there for her. Maybe she can use it. And she did, of course, because she's always putting them in her builds. So upstairs there is a bar. I just thought a thing for maybe the Sims who couldn't get the table so they can wait upstairs on the bar and also look down on the... I think it sounds a little bit harsh, they can look down to the guys who are already dining. <laughs> Maybe it should be the other way around, but yeah, you know what I mean. I think it's quite funny and also I think it's really, really cool because you have an amazing view on the second floor already because, you know, the church is really, really tall. So I just thought it would be nice. Downstairs in the two towers from the church are restrooms. So your Sims already have a toilet there. And yeah, I kept it very minimal, nothing super special here. Yeah, that's basically it. So the main color theme is with black and this really light green from the bamboo and then I just kept it very minimal nothing too fancy because the whole build is already like over the top gothic and highly decorated from the outside and I wanted to give like a nice contrast on the inside here as well so yeah I hope you like it guys please please visit my dear friend Celine's YouTube channel she's amazing a really nice friend of mine say hello to her she's a German simmer but she also does Sims 4 speed builds if you're into that and I will put all the links to that or to her in the video description for example the other part of the video you really have to watch it it looks amazing and I will also put the download link in the video description for you guys so yeah that's it I hope you like it enjoy the screenshots and I will see you soon bye bye